Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 1478, okay? It says, the spring has a stiffness k equal to 200 newton per meter and an unstretched length of 0 0.5 meters. If it is attached to the 3 kg smooth collar and the collar is released from rest at A, determine the speed of the collar when it reaches B. Neglect the size of the collar. Alright, so what do we have in here? Well, over here we got this bin. We have a collar that is connected to this spring and we want to calculate the velocity when we release this collar from A and it's at this point B exactly, okay? So the first thing I like to do in this problem is just write out my givens. So the givens, they're giving me my constant of a stiffness of 200 newtons per meter for this spring. We're giving an unstretched length of 0 0.5 meters, a mass of 3 kilograms. We're also told that um, this color is at rest at A. So I'm going to put rest point A, just for our information. Okay, and we need to determine the speed at, uh, at B. So in order to do this, we're going to utilize chapter 14 equations, which is basically the conservation of energy. And conservation of energy is this equation, all right? So we are going to take into account the two points that we have, A and B. And in order to do that, well, we need this volt voltage, this basically potential energy, I'm sorry, not voltage, um, from both points. And how do we find this potential? Well, we find it knowing the gravitational potential and also the elastic potential, okay? So that's how we are going to basically uh, reach to this problem we're going to find the first let's find the potential gravitational potential at my point a okay so this is going to be the weight times the distance y okay now what is this distance y well the distance y is with respect to our datum so what we're going to do is that we're going to set up b as my datum okay kind of like setting up as our ground so if my point B is my ground, then my point A is two meters away. So we're going to have our two meters. Then we need to multiply by the weight. Well, weight is mass times the acceleration. So nine, uh, three kilograms times the 9.81 acceleration that we have in the metric system. And if we plug this into our calculator, we will have a total of 58.86. And the units should be joules, which is newtons times meters, okay? Then, what about the potential, gravitational potential at point B? Well, in this case, since our datum is basically a point B, that means that our Y is zero. So, if we have weight times zero, that will give me a total of zero joules. All right, so we're done with our gravitational potential. Now, all we have to do is find the elastic potential. So let's go ahead, so elastic potential for point A. Okay, so for our elastic potential, we will have one half K, well, K is given as 200 Newton per meter, multiplied by S. Well, S in this case, for this equation, represents the stretch length of this um, spring, okay? So let's recall, we have an unstretched length of 0 0.5, so at point A, this spring has a total length of this, which we can calculate as the hypotenuse of this triangle, okay? So let's go ahead and do a little work on the side. I'm going to call H is going to be the hypotenuse of two square plus 1.5 square. And if I'm not wrong, this should be equal to 2.5 meters, okay? So that's our entire length and this length so let me draw it better. So this is the overall length, but however, we also have an unstretched length of 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 meters is unstretched. The rest is the stretch length, and that's how much we need. Well, if the total is 2.5, that means that the total amount of stretch length, only the stretch, is going to be 2 meters, which is our 2.5 minus the 0 0.5 that we have. Okay, so this is a square following the formula, 
and if we plug this into our calculator we will get a total of 400 joules okay now we're going to do the same thing but our point B our elastic potential we got one half 200 times this stretch length well from here to here we already know that the distance is 1.5 meters minus the 0.5 of unstretched length that give me a total of 1 we squared this and this should give me a total of 100 joules so now we're done with our elastic therefore we can just we have our potential for both points so what I'm going to do is jump right away at hand and do our conservation of energy and we're going to do T1 which is TA well my point at A is starts at rest, meaning that our T1 is equal to 0. So we got 0 plus, and then we will have, let me grab this equation and put it down here so we don't have to keep scrolling up. And then we have our potential at A. Well, our potential at A is the addition of this and this. So we got a total of 458.86 then we have equal to T2, well T2 is what basically we were trying to find which is one half the mass 3 kilograms times the velocity of B squared, okay? So let's recall that this is basically the formula, it's going to be one half mass times the velocity squared, okay, for this point. And then we have plus the potential at, uh, at point 2 or point B, whatever we call it, is going to be the addition of this 0 plus 100. That means it's only plus 100 joules, okay? So that's all we have. We have one equation we want to know. We can solve for VV squared, the potential of, at B squared. So we will have that the potential at B squared is going to be equal to well, first we have this 400 minus this 100. That will give me a total of 358.86 divided by. And then if we combine these two into 1, well, 3 divided by 2, that's 1.5. And then if we solve for my potential, my velocity at B, not potential, I'm sorry. I'm starting to confuse the, the Bs now. It's going to be the square root of. 358.86 divided by 1.5 and let's plug this into our calculator this will give me a total of 15.47 meters per second okay and this will be our final result if we run it to two decimal places so i hope you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next Thank you.